who is the top return man. Awaiting the kick from Cade Coffey, the outstanding place kicker for Idaho. It goes out of the back of the end zone. It appeared last year in four games as a true freshman, but reserved his redshirt year. First pass incomplete. We've got a flag down at the 20-yard line. Dominating the line of scrimmage and opening up big holes for these backs. Out of the eye formation, it's back to Smith. Follows his lead blocker, but not much there. First down in a passing situation. Chambers to throw. Plenty of time. On third and five, he finds the open man for a big first down. It's the tight end inside the 35-yard line for a big gainer, Jackson Markov. Starting running back, Valade with an ankle injury. On third down, Chambers hit as he delivers, and it goes out of bounds incomplete. And so Cooper Roth, the second-team All-American place kicker, with a 45-yard attempt that had plenty of leg, but it misses wide. Whoa. And so the Vandals with their first snap. And a great job to read it by that defense. Third and ten. Petrina with all day to find a receiver, and he does. It's Jeff Cotton, the man coming off a 16 reception performance in week two. What you think about an FCS player? He is 6'2", 205, a fifth-year senior. Here's Cotton again. They'll use him all over the field and get the football into his hands in a multitude of ways. First and 15, they'll run it. Roshan Johnson still on his feet. 14-yard gain. They are deep at the running back spot. Going to throw it here on third and one. On the rollout, pass complete. First down for the tight end, Connor Whitney. And they give it to him. Breaks the first tackle. But the Cowboys swarm to drop him at the knob. And so now Kate Coffey, a 2018 second team All-American at the FCS level, puts his foot into it and gives the Vandals the lead. After a four-yard pickup on first down by Titus Swen, second down and six. Handed back to Swen with a huge hole. And again, the head coach Craig Bowles sets that standard here for the Cowboys. On play action, Chambers all day to throw. Now going to tuck it, now going to dump it off. Finds Swen out of the backfield. And he's down to the 41-yard line from Chambers. Now, this is Chambers at his best. This is where he's learning to say, I don't have to do everything with my legs. Yes, I'm going to extend it. This team is shaping up to fit that profile. Third down and two. Trying to run for it. It's going to be close. Going to go for it. On fourth down, Chambers calls his own number. And that surge up front by the big boys, led by the center, Keegan Kreider. Flag down, though. Came out late. Personal foul, target, number two, defense. 15 yards will be added to the end of the run. Automatic, first down. That's the previous the play is under further review. Now that 22 personnel again, Doug. And they pitch it to Dante Crow, and Idaho sniffs it out for a loss. <laughs> Watch number one be the force guy, which means, hey, turn it back to your teammates. No, no, I'm not going to turn it back. I'm going to play off the block. And I'll make it as if nobody else is on the football field. Number one, everything was positive. Never heard a bad word about Luther Ellis. And it's permeating through his boys as well. He has got three, now two of his boys. 347 pounds, and he's got some ability. He's next up. Andre Carter, Roshan Johnson, Keon Martinez, Nick Romano. A lot of great running backs out there. That is Romano. Big pickup across midfield for a first down. According to his then offensive coordinator, who is his current offensive coordinator, Chris Sinkovich, coach like Sun, who makes the great pass, mm. threading the needle inside the 30-yard line to Connor Whitney. Picked up six, third and one. Johnson remains in there. Takes the handoff, bulls his way across the 15. Third and long, going to run it. Big hole towards the end zone. Touchdown, Roshan Johnson. 15 yards. Pull the backside guard. There's the one-on-one -on -one in the hole. Broken tackle, missed tackle. Her. Chambers turns the corner. First down. We got a lot of familial ties on both sides of the football in this game. Chambers. Able to turn it upfield, another first down, stays on his feet to the 45, and it takes three Vandals 
to escort him out the sideline, and we've got flags. Physical always around the ball. Everything's good now. You did your job. He's out of bounds. No, 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 no. Don't need it. Don't need it. Why? For who? For what? You're hurting your football team. Everything's good here. Perfect. Out of bounds. Let him walk. Get him between the whistle. Wyoming for the third time deep in Idaho territory. Smith cuts it outside. Stiff arms his way to a first down. He's going to get in the rhythm, too. He's loving the jet sweep action because it's forcing the backside defenders to stay back. And so he's... The running back is Titus Swen. This time he hands it to the man in motion with a blocker. It's Ismail following that blocker toward the end zone. Touchdown! Sweep for the Rocket Jr. and says, look at me, I'm stunting like my daddy as I run through tackles at the goal line. 10-7, Idaho. Looks like cover one, though, man to man. Petrino is run over. Two drives in a row, one on defense and one on offense. And there's Crawl coming with the late pressure in the NSC. Yeah, it looks like Johnson can't really see here. Well, this is a better angle. Let's see. He's, he's picking up the stunt. Everything's good here. All right. Quarterback's down. No, no, okay, now that's enough. Now, you know, that's enough. Now, I don't like the call. Well, there, there, there's the hit. The late slap to the face. And so Cade Coffey stands four yards deep into his own end zone. Austin Conway lets it bounce. Now he picks it up, and he's going to return it. What a play! Austin Conway catches the Vandals by surprise. I didn't like it because I like to see punt returners come up and catch that ball. He didn't. Now look, look at the other guys relax. Okay, you relax. I'm going to play. Excellent job. Put that ball away now. Excellent job of picking up the football in stride and getting upfield. Terrific heads up play. He understands the rules. That ball's not going to get blown dead until the coverage team downs it. Bad football. Handed off Trey Smith. Busts it outside to the pylon. Touchdown. Now watch number seven with vision. This is an inside play. Watch him bounce it right there. He saw a soft corner on the outside. Number 21, C.J. Colden was kept. Was Run the football, play action pass. From the edge, some pressure handled nicely, and it's Cotton. They went to their money man for a first down completion. On third and 11, a design rollout. Petrino completes the pass, but that's not going to be nearly enough as Cottrell Haywood is dropped around the 40-yard line. California. This is a multiple offense that will keep a defense busy trying to figure out what's coming. Freshman, like we said, but there it is, the run pass. He keeps it like great blocking. A lot of room to run up inside, and just like his tailback and fullback mates, you're going to have to tackle this guy. Another RPO. This time he's looking to throw it. Finally they get there. Ball's out. Akano was the first to get there. Ball still loose, and they're going to say it was down at the 30. But Charles Akano got there. Now, we said well, he's not looking to go down. Well, go down against that guy. You don't want 98 <laughs> coming down on you heavy. And, whoo, look at that ankle turn. And, boy, that's a bad position to have your limbs in. Big-time athlete was a big recruit for the Cowboys. They play conservatively, keep it on the ground with Trey Smith. And not far from here. Air Force in overtime beat Colorado in Boulder 30 to 23. Back to the 20 to take the punt. Cottrell Haywood. Third down and nine. They'll run it again. Cowboys ready. And they're going to use a timeout. Was on a Hail Mary interception at the end of the first half last week. Booming punt. Takes the return man back to the 20. Flag down. Couple of them down. Finally tackled at the 40-yard line. Today from Goodyear, Arizona. They're going to throw the football to the near sideline. A little bit better for the offense. Chambers, quick release. Has his man, number 13, John Uckwall. In terms of his physicality and his size and his toughness, yeah. that's who he thinks of. 
high praise. And again, he was, Chambers was a high three-star recruit coming out of high school. Big, strong, can punish uh, as a runner, but has a nice arm, too. Opportunity for Haywood if he can haul it in for the Vandals. He does at the 18-yard line, makes the first two men miss. A nice return for the Idaho redshirt sophomore. Flags come in. Now the quarterback is the son of the coach, Mason Petrino. He is dropped for a one-yard loss. That'll bring up second down and 11. A Division I athlete as well, softball player, an outfielder at the University of Montana. Her big brother tries to find D.J. Lee, but the redshirt sophomore from Champaign, Illinois, could not haul it in. Flag down, and we're going to have a roughing the passer call. 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic, first down. The running back is Andre Carter. He'll stay in to block. Down the left side, he's got Cotton for a first down. Up the top, Cotton with the job. Great throw. Sometimes quarterbacks can throw a guy open. That's cover two. That means you got underneath covers by the corner, over the top, helped by the safety, and watch the placement of the ball. Back shoulder. So only your guy can go. The protection up front is failing the Vandals. Petrino from midfield fires his strike, complete at the 38-yard line. That knee next time, young fella. So it's fourth and one. Idaho going for it. Petrino. Going to try and get it himself. He does. And the young man who will receive his broadcast journalism degree in December, yes, moves the chain. And, of course, Bobby Jr., longtime coach who worked many, many years with his younger brother, Paul. Nice looking play. You're going to see a great hands catch. But also, you know, defense coordinator Jake Dickert said the pocket doesn't exist for this Petrino. They're going to move him. And they're doing a great job of doing that with a design rollout. But look at the big hands catch. Don't let the ball eat you up, young player. You get it with your hands. Don't let it make contact with your shoulder pads. Wyoming's defenders were ready for that run. Cotton in motion. Petrino just goes down at the 20. Let's see if they can get the ball to number 88. Third and long. They'll run it. Ian is... Mom Sue, they got married while they were still in college at Idaho. Their son boots it through. Sean Chambers fires. To make tough catches for you. And that's, that just didn't happen with Conway. Galovich's punt grabbed on the fly by Haywood. And Idaho's defense gets the football right back. See a college football Hall of Fame career. Screen pass Double complete. Pass. DJ Lee looking to throw. Puts it in the air. He's got a man who makes an unbelievable catch. They say it's a completion. Looks like Wyoming is not going to blitz. Play coverage. Petrino has a man. Incomplete. Cotton couldn't grab it. It's not where Wyoming wants to be. I see if the rest of the freshman is smart with the football. Chambers avoids the rush. Outruns another defender. But they just keep coming in waves and finally brought down. Contain, they can come up and rally, and that's exactly what Jalen Hoover did. The punter, Ryan Galovich, gets the fair catch. When they are the occasional super, they're going to look at your program first. No doubt. Mason Petrino in trouble. He goes down at the 20-yard line. A loss of nine on the play. I'm loving number 30. Get him on my team anytime. Five out of 13 on third down, but not all of them have been third and 19. And now Cade Coffey will punt from his own 10-yard line. And the dangerous return man, Austin Conway, catches it, spins to the near side. Now he's going to try up the middle. Much better coverage by Idaho. Able to put all 310 pounds on his own feet and walk off the field. And so now here are the Cowboys. Oh, Chambers in a lot of trouble, and he finally goes down. That's a huge loss. This young man is. He is a wonderful competitor. Well, sometimes you got to know when to set it down. Now, see, he's trying to extend and keep this play wide, but he's going the wrong way. Every week they designated offensive player was their most wanted. We got to attack that guy. It looked like they wanted him on that play, though. After an 18-yard loss, a booming punt. He's a stand-up D-end who they'll move inside of the nickel or speed package. You see that speed? Getting the football back for the Vandals. Tough decision there by the quarterback to keep it. Mason Petrino was just swallowed up 
Number two in career tackles among active FBS players. Petrino on the run, finds his man, Cotton for a first down. Move the chains for Idaho. Not to live up to. No question about it. And I think living up to it is being excellent on and off the field. Cumulatively, this is the best two-game start attendance-wise in the history of the program. Wow. Busting tackles. Room to run. Trey Smith. The Louisville transfer. Can he get to the goal line? Yes! I'm not sure his dad had this type of wheels. Look at the blocking, though. And then you just run through a couple tackles. The second one by the safety has to be made for the defense. And then, boy, he opens it up. Woo! Now that's running right there. Lloyd Hightower had a shot coming from behind, but he just couldn't make it. Well, in a Louisville uniform last year, he lit up Wake Forest for 98 yards and three touchdowns. But I venture... Still scrambling, Petrino gets rid of the football and it's caught by Carter. A huge play for the Vandals to keep the drive alive. I'm trying to get 88 locked up on him. I'm staying away from number nine. Cotton's caught six passes for 91 yards. Trying to find Haywood, unable to pull it in. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 44, defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. The Vandals on the move. On first down, it's another hookup and a big play to Cottrell Haywood. Second down and seven. Fake the handoff to Johnson to the end zone. Contact. Cotton draws the foul. Huge play in this ballgame. Mason Petrino, the coach's son, scrambling. Turns it back. Gets a block. Still directing traffic into the end zone again. It's incomplete. Cade Coffey, a perfect four for four so far this season on field goal attempts. Now make it five for five. The I formation. He's got 140 yards rushing and counting. Here he goes, bouncing it outside. It'll stay at 140 yards on now 14 attempts. Spread the field, hand it off, tripped up. Ismail goes down. And so Ryan Galovich will punt again from inside his own 20. Idaho gets the football back with about five and a half minutes with which to work. Mason Petrino flushed. Keeps the play alive and there are those good feet hit late out of bounds and the flag comes. Garrett Crawl is going to be penalized. First down near midfield. Haywood in motion. Hand it to him. It's a double reverse. In the hands of one of their speedsters, it's Cotton. Tiptoes out of bounds at about the 36, and again, another late hit. Uh, late hit, number three defense. 15-yard penalty on my first down. But I hate undisciplined football play, and we're watching too much of it on both sides of the field. No, no, no. Mason Petrino. Can't find anybody open downfield, and he goes down. The quarterback's holding the ball. We got to come alive. Just keep coming. He's going to be there for you because he wants to hold it and wait. And 51. Had it well in field goal range at about third and seven on the 18-yard line. And two negative plays forced Idaho to give the football back to Wyoming. He wanted two plays to win it. Who's going to be the guy? From the eye, Smith. Spins away from a would-be tackle from Trey Walker, and he's going to move the chains. It's first down for the Cowboys. They love to do it, and more often not, they get where they got to go. Smith lowers the shoulders and emerges on the other side of the line of scrimmage with a first down. Well, they've got an All-American in number 88 on the outside. They're going to be fine as they continue to go through conference play. Just don't beat yourself. On the other side, Sean Chambers was who we thought he was, a dual threat guy.